Another concern for the federal government is whether to oust Sheikh Omar Abdel Rahman from the U.S. Yesterday, there was a hearing about his immigration status, but now transcripts just released apparently link him to alleged terrorist plots here in New York. The conversations are reportedly between Ahmad Salem, the informant, and Sadiq Ibrahim Sadiq Ali. Salem was the interpreter for Sheikh Omar Abdel Rahman, and according to the FBI, the inside informant on the alleged terrorist ring. Prosecutors claim Sadiq Ali was the ringleader. Salem taped several conversations with Sadiq Ali. In one, Sadiq Ali says that while the Sheikh didn't plan the attacks, he did give them his blessing. Salem asks, he doesn't interfere? Sadiq Ali, no, no, he doesn't interfere, has no relation with it. You simply ask him a general question, that's all. Salem later asks, did you ask Sheikh Omar about the big house operation, referring to plans to blow up the UN? Sadiq Ali says yes. Salem, what did he say? Sadiq Ali responds, he said it was a duty, it is a must. Along with the UN, the Lincoln and Holland Tunnels and the Federal Office Building in Lower Manhattan were also apparently on the alleged terrorist bombing list. In another conversation, May 7th, the UN again comes up. Salem says, what do you want now? What is your target? Sadiq Ali responds, I want the United Nations, and adds, all UN resolutions are oppressive. It is against Islam and the Muslims. The transcripts also reveal a May 18th conversation between the two men in which the informant, Salem, agrees to set the explosives. Sadiq Ali asks him, all this gets connected? Salem answers, all gets connected at the end with two wires to the timer. Sadiq Ali, this is complicated. Salem, it's dangerous. Anything can happen as I connect the wires. Sadiq Ali responds, may God keep you safe. Now, another interesting twist in this case is that the informant has also secretly taped his conversations with federal agents. Now, the defendant's attorneys hope to use those tapes to try and prove the FBI instigated the plot. Those tapes could jeopardize the government's case. A potentially explosive situation averted when police arrested a New Jersey man who allegedly offered to sell military-type explosives. Bomb experts then spent the night searching the home of William Ernest Miller in Springfield, New Jersey. He was arrested near Syracuse yesterday after he allegedly tried to sell a cache of military explosives to federal agents. Police confiscated more than 20 pounds of explosives. 